Welcome beasts! Today we are in my kitchen, or at least in one half of my kitchen, because it's a small kitchen. Um, a while ago I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted a fridge tour, so we're gonna do that today. I'm kneeling in front, <laughs> in front of my fridge because we're gonna have to do this with a tripod. It would be a little bit easier if I had a second person phone, but we'll, we'll just make do. And uh, if you hear a lot of weird noises in the background, it's close to dinner time, so all of the pets are going crazy. I was not able to take all the toys away from them because they would destroy my house. So we'll just have to deal with that. Let's start with the door because the door is an embarrassing mess. I love condiments. I am absolutely 100% addicted to sauces. And I have in this drawer all the collected sauces. Every time I go out to eat, I grab extra sauces. Every time my friends come over and they bring food, I make them grab extra sauces and they all stay here and, uh, you know, just get used over time. I got a lot of zesty buffalo because I don't like buffalo, but Jordan does, so we got buffalo in here. There's also ranch, which I also don't like at all, but Jordan does, so we have ranch in here. I don't really want to go through all my sauces because they're ever-changing and I will honestly just get whatever sounds good that day, but staples that I always have is ketchup. Thank you, dad, for giving me your ketchup addiction. Um, I always have barbecue sauce. I like this one because it doesn't have too many crazy stuff in it, but sometimes I will buy more expensive sauces with even less stuff in it. I really like this brand because they try to make um, stuff very paleo, and if you look at all the ingredients, it's a pretty short list compared to other sauces and um, vinaigrettes and stuff like that. Something I always love use and have to have is balsamic clays because i love balsamic vinegar i'm not a huge fan of soy sauce because we have this stuff which is basically soy sauce but a lot healthier that's always there i always have milk i always have some type of stock or broth in here for cooking i always have some coconut water for my smoothies or my green drinks in the morning. I try to always buy my dairy as organic and fresh and everything as possible because that means there's no hormones in there and no antibiotics and that's stuff that we want to avoid, right? I usually have rice vinegar because I really like to make Japanese rice, so that's a big must. There's always free racha in the house, another Jordan staple because you want to cater to your best friend, right? So that is that one. Butter, I always keep butter. You see there's a lot of awkward sized butter <laughs> for baking and cooking purposes. Butter is here. There's also my um, probiotics and stuff I keep up here. And then in this little jar, I have my garlic and I keep my garlic separate so nothing else starts smelling like garlic. I also like these things sometimes because they can save a lot of time. For cooking so those are nice love anything asian so that is a big staple in my house at the top i usually have whatever jam i'm using at the moment i love peanut butter and jelly so there's always some type of jelly or marmalade up there um, i will have my yogurt up there i am a fan of whole milk stuff because a lot of the diet or zero percent fat has added sugar to make up for the missing fat and also fat makes you fuller for longer so i try to go with that german mustard up here very important for a german girl mayo is always difficult for me because mayo really triggers my histaminosis a lot so this one is the same brand primal kitchen is that what it is it's not the same brand it's a different brand it's another another healthy healthy paleo type of brand so there is not that much shit in here. There's avocado oil, eggs, egg yolks, vinegar, sea salt, rosemary, and that's it. That's all that's in here. So that's why I really love this one. Morello cherries. This is another blast from the past. I used to eat these by the jar as a kid. Yum. Love Aldi for having these. That's like a treat or I will put them in my oatmeal sometimes. It's very good too. Then we have some goat cheese up here, yum. Cream cheese that's dry and crumbling, which I don't really eat that much cream cheese, but I like to make jalapeno poppers every now and then in my air fryer. We got some tomatoes. They are currently on the top shelf, so I don't forget to eat them. 
I need to see it to know that it's there. Eggs hiding in the back here, and as you can maybe tell, I just went grocery shopping. I will boil half of my eggs and just keep hard boiled eggs in the fridge for snacking and stuff like that. And then I will keep the other half raw for scrambled eggs or sunny side up or whatever else. Keeper, also a big staple. Put it on my oatmeal in the morning or I'll have like a little glass. Sometimes I'll mix this with the Morello cherries. That's really good too. Um, probiotic, good for you. I like to keep snacks right here. Snacks for me are for one, grapes. I love grapes. I will wash them and pop them on a plate so I can eat them whenever. I also like this for when I'm like running out of the house and I haven't eaten and I'm about to train a client and I know I will die if I don't eat so I'll grab this and just eat this on the drive over. Very very last jar of imported German pickles because American pickles suck. Also imported my mom made this kvitten. I don't even know what kvitten is in English but this is so good. It's like vanilla, cinnamony, very Christmassy flavored. I'll put this on my peanut butter or stuff like that. When I make jalapeno poppers, because that's right now it's kind of the only time I eat bacon, I keep the bacon grease that collects at the bottom of the air fryer and I use this to, to cook with it and it just makes everything taste so much better if you put a little bit of bacon grease in there. So I highly recommend if you make bacon anything, collect your bacon grease. We got these two together because I like to eat them together. I will make some type of ravioli or whatever um, and I'll pop some. Well, maybe not these together because that's crap and chicken sausage, but you know, this. And then I have an open jar of marinara somewhere right here. So this together will make a quick and easy meal and it's yum. I love berries. I put them in my oatmeal. I eat them. <laughs> I eat them just like that and I also use them as treats for my my boys. Loki and Yoda both like berries a lot so we'll get some sometimes but not that often because berries are expensive. Plain yogurt. This will also go in my oatmeal. The other one, these ones, I'll have like as a snack and just have this by itself. This one, I'll put fruit in it or I'll have it with cereal which right now I don't have cereal. I only have oatmeal. But yeah, this will go in my oatmeal. Sesame tahini. Um, I like to make my own hummus, so that's what I need this for. Yoda is getting very hungry. Next shelf, I have a bunch of different flavors of kombucha. I will have one kombucha a day or maybe one every two days because it's very good for your digestion. An open pack of chicken sausages, some hummus, because I don't always make my own hummus, because sometimes, you know, you just gotta go with the faster option I have. A very hungry kitty right here. So hungry. Oh, feed me. Feed me now. Two packs of Asian chop kit. I love these pre-made salads. I'll just like have one of those and then put maybe a little bit of protein on top or just have it by itself for dinner. Um, those are absolute life savers, time savers, so those are awesome. This sometimes I'll put in with my pasta or I'll put it on a sandwich or I'll just have it by myself, by itself with some dressing. But right now I'm eating a lot of sandwiches and like quicker foods, so that's mainly what that is for. And also, that's why he's screaming so much right now. This little dude is like, he's crazy for salad. Loves it. Gotta have that for me. Once a month, I get takeout right now. That's like my indulgence during, during the pandemic is uh, once a month I treat myself. This is the only thing left over from my Chinese, so just white rice, cause that's the lamest part of it. And then there's some sweet and sour sauce left over from the I don't even know from that deep fried stuff with the crab stuff in it mm, so good so maybe i'll make some fried rice with this together that's why i'm keeping it for now i will just get my elbow i like to buy in bulk whenever stuff is on sale i try to get this i try to get grass fed as much as i can and 
I try to get organic chicken as much as I can. Like I said, with my meat and my dairy, I like to buy organic as much as possible just because I know that there is no crazy stuff in the meat and meat really absorbs like hormones and antibiotics and pesticides and all stuff like that. So meat and dairy, I try to buy as clean as possible. Everything else is like not such a big deal. Cheese. Tomatoes on top always go with this for me. Tomatoes by itself, I'll maybe like have on a sandwich, but like just tomatoes, I'm not a huge fan. So tomato basil, I'm growing my own basil outside. That is one of my number one salads I'll have. And then white cheddar because that's the cheapest one to have at Aldi's. I gotta have some German stuff, of course. This is not quite like liverwurst. Liverwurst is like my favorite thing ever, but they don't have that, but they have this and this has liver in it, so that's not too bad. Sorry for the screaming cat. I gave him spinach, so now he's addicted. Prosciutto for sandwiches. Black Forest Turkey. Black Forest is also a German flavor because the Black Forest is in Germany. More kefir. A backup milk because I go through this quite quickly. I have a cup of coffee in the morning with a little bit of milk and then I make my oatmeal with like half a cup of milk. And then I like to have some milk with my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So a lot of milk on this girl. Down here, now we get to like the vegetables. In this jar, well, we'll just have to meal, I guess. In this jar, I have bell peppers. I love bell peppers. Usually I try to like already cut them up into little strips. So I have them ready for snacking or, you know, they're like halfway prepared for cooking. String cheese, snacking is a must because my hunger cues are not that great because I ruined them. So, you know, I get hungry very quickly and then I have to eat or I die. Um, more cheese for snacking. Um, sugar snap peas also for snacking. I will just eat them like this. Loki also likes them a lot. <laughs> I'll just eat them like that or I'll dip them in hummus. Then green onions are just delicious and everything. I'll like add them to a salad or put them on top of the dish or, you know. Sometimes I put them on my sandwiches. There's actually a second bag of green onions in there. I'm not gonna pull that one out because you already saw one. Zucchini, I love zucchini, air fried, delicious. Used to eat it raw a lot, but I couldn't really digest it well. It gave me tummy aches. Loki likes it raw. I'm throwing these out. <laughs> green beans. They came with my last Instacart order, even though I didn't order them. And I let them stay in there until they get moldy, so. Now they're gone. More sugar snap peas, because I go through them quick. A long English cucumber or a seedless cucumber here, which for me is the cute type of cucumber I grew up with. So I just prefer this over the little stubby ones that you get here. I just like them better. <laughs> mushrooms, I eat a lot of mushrooms. They're really good for you, really good for your kidneys. Also snack on these quite a bit. I like have three of them after dinner. As you can see, a lot of my food is like snacking. I eat a lot of small meals throughout the day. It's very usual for me to have like four or five or even six meals a day or just snack all day long and not really like have one large meal. I will have a large meal usually when I have company um, or when I go somewhere, but for myself, even if I cook something, I will like have a little bit of it and then I'll have something else and then I'll come back to that later. I just like a lot of small meals. Lemons, wow, that's disgusting. We'll take care of that later. Lemons, I don't <laughs> really use. I got those for some recipe that we made a few months ago and then they clearly just sat in there rotting. Apples, these are not that great. They also came with that Instacart order. I don't know what she did with it, but it looks like she kind of tossed them around real good in her car. So I will probably make pie out of them or something like that. We got a bunch of potatoes down here. I love these because they'll just pop them in the air fryer real quick or you know, leave them in the oven while I put something else in the air fryer. And then I have awesome little potatoes. These are so good. And then I also have a bunch of normal sized potatoes down here. I have some ginger because I really like ginger. I actually have quite a bit of ginger. 
I love ginger. Ginger is also really good for you, really good for your digestion. I will, a lot of times I'll make tea and I'll just put some ginger in there or I will grate this in my dishes. Like I said, I love Asian dishes, so ginger is a big staple for me. Red onions, that's my fridge. Now, since we're already down here, we'll take a quick look at my freezer. You can see all the important stuff up there. It's just the ice maker. Um, most important stuff is down here. This is where I have my vegetables. I love all these mixes. Just pop any of these in the oven, and I'm happy. Have some green beans. Cookie house. Huge lifesaver, rice vegetables. These are awesome. Same with this stuff. Hate making my own, love eating them. And we, uh, now we get to the Walmart section. Um, mixed vegetables, cauliflower. I usually also buy a lot of broccoli, but I ate all of that, so that's fine. One bean. Like this stuff, I'll make. If I'm too lazy to cook anything, I'll just, you know, put some protein on top. Something like meatball or I think this is the only like fully frozen dish I bought in a while. But I just, I like, I like Asian, okay? And it doesn't matter if it's Thai or Vietnamese or Japanese or it doesn't matter. I just love Asian food. Pulling stuff back here. Quadka. Usually I will have frozen cherries and I sometimes also have frozen raspberries, stuff, stuff like that. I will use these for my smoothie. Uh, my parents have a lot of banana plants at their vacation home, so I harvest them and then I freeze them and I use them for my smoothies. I don't have a lot of them right now because they were a lot last harvest. Like I said, I like to buy my um, protein in bulk, so this is one of those leftover bulk items. And then there is more alcohol under that and we don't need to look at that. I think it's like caramel vodka and something else. I'm not sure. Vegetable cutoffs. I mentioned this quite a bit that I try to keep all my veggie cutoffs and then, and also like bones. I don't think there's any bones in here. I think this is really only just, nope, there's a rib bone. There's a rib bone down there. So I try to keep bones, vegetable cutoffs. I can use them to make stock or broth or whatever. I put them in a slow cooker and I cook it for 12 hours and then I use it. Frozen shot glasses, cool packs, more cool packs, and that's my freezer. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you have any questions, because I have, I know that I have mentioned before that I do suffer from an autoimmune disorder, um, which will have some really weird symptoms sometimes and a lot of the stuff that I just showed you is a big big no-no for that particular disorder and I still have it so if you want to know more about that and want to know how I manage my symptoms and stuff like that let me know and I'll make another video on that but for now this is it this is how I've been feeding myself lately um, I've been going for a little lower effort a little more convenience because the last year has been incredibly overwhelming for all of us. So I have opted to cut some corners and choose for some little bit easier foods for a while and it has worked pretty well. So let me know if you have any questions or whatever. And thank you so much for joining me. Now let's get our beast modes on beast. Now that our, let us get our, I'm hungry, it's late, I need to feed the kids. Um, beast mode's on and get strong!